live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live with your hosts, Elizabeth Reese and Chris Egger. Well, we know soup is a comfort dish that comes when the temperature drops, but can also be the perfect solution if you are looking for a budget-friendly meal. Here with an easy Italian soup for a family of four that costs $9.30, we welcome Kowalski's Market's culinary director, Rachel Perrin. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so we put you to the challenge. We said you got to come up with something that isn't expensive, and mm -hmm. feeding a family of four mm -hmm. for under 10 bucks, I think, is pretty doggone good. Mm -hmm. What'd you come up with? Well, I feed a family of four every night, so it wasn't <laughs> as big of a challenge as you might think, but um, soup's pretty popular this time of year yeah. in my house, and so um, I, my mind instantly goes to soup because mm -hmm. it's a great use of, um, sometimes you don't have a, enough of one particular ingredient to make like a whole meal. Yeah. In this case, maybe you have a little bit of meat or a little bit of pasta, but not a whole box of pasta. Yeah. What do you do if you got maybe a jar of pasta sauce and not a, not a full box of pasta? Yeah. You can make an easy Italian soup using whatever meat and veggies you have on hand in a jar of pasta sauce. I love this. So you must have some sort of like pork or pork sausage and it onion. Because so yeah. this is like brings me back to my mom's yes. kitchen. She, Whenever I smell Italian sausage or pork and onion together, mm -hmm. I think of home. Right. So we did start this particular batch with half of a pound of a bulk Italian sausage jar. Premium all natural, mild. You could use a spicy. And a matter of fact, you could use this with any kind of ground meat that you have. If okay. you've got just half of a pound mm -hmm. of ground chicken or turkey or beef or whatever you have, you, you can use that or you could use sliced smoked sausage. We can even talk later about how to make it vegetarian if you don't have any meat in the house at all. Nice. But I just started this one so that I could get the meat um, render, all its fat, to get nice and golden brown. And then I threw in half of an onion. Okay. Again, maybe you only have half of an onion. Mm -hmm. So throw half of an onion in there. And you want to let it cook until the onions start to get soft because this is really the bulk of the cooking. Mm -hmm. From this point on, we're going to add three ingredients and we're going to produce a bowl of soup just from that. Um, so we're going to let that cook for a minute and talk about the things that we're going to put in it. Okay. okay. Need a little chicken broth. Yep. You can use beef. You could use, you know, vegetable broth. Um, and I love this. I'm obsessed with this. Isn't this the yeah. best? So because easy. it's also, it's really, um, you know, it's budget friendly. You can uh -huh. get nine and a half quarts of chicken stock out of just this jar of, of better than bouillon base. So I love this teaspoon for every cup of Well, she can work stuff. your yeah. fingers to the bone on wrapping those tiny little cubes. Well, this is a cube. I know. Yes, oh, yeah, I right, know. right. So, right. so about this, this is fabulous. And it stores in the refrigerator for a long time. And if you just need a cup of it for something, And I find great. sometimes the cubes can taste like a little tinny to me for some reason. Yeah, well, they are wrapped in kind of metal. And yeah. they sometimes taste like they've been stored in there for a really long mm -hmm. time. And this is does tastes not. fresh. It yes. tastes fresh. And it's mm -hmm. not as salty as you might think that it, it would be. So yeah. um, I actually think it substitute really, really well. And I have a jar of it in my refrigerator at home. So Me that's a great too. option for when you want to throw together any kind of soup. So three cups of water, three teaspoons of the better than bouillon to make some chicken stock. And the other ingredient I mentioned is pasta sauce. This now is I'm, a great idea. This is a good one. Now I've cooked mussels in pasta sauce. Now I'm going to do a soup with it. Pick the kind you like. This is the garlic marinara. It's got a little chunks of onion. But the thing I like is it's got garlic. It's got basil, oregano, it's already seasoned. So we just need to add these ingredients to the um, cooked down pork sausage and the onion. Yeah, the sauce totally makes sense though, because all it is is just a thicker version of what a soup of, base could be. You know, be. you might put in like diced tomatoes or tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And again, it's already got the flavors in it. And so we just add about half and half. You can use another variety or another um, flavor of pasta sauce, mm -hmm. but this one, you know, half and half, about three cups of each. And then the thing that I'm going to add in here at the end is just a little bit of pasta. Again, what if you only have a little bit left in the box? You know, this is, you could use macaroni, you could use these small shell noodles, which I think are really cute. Just cook them up and toss them into the pot. And then, you know, there you go. And you don't like to cook, do you cook the pasta ever in the actual soup or do you like to cook it separately? You could. Um, this way you know you've got six cups of, you know, soup sure. when you're done. So yeah. you know it's enough to serve everybody. You could just put a little bit more water in there and cook the pasta in it and then account for the, the cook off. Okay. But then you can put a little cheese on top of this to serve it and you're all uh, good to go. The other thing I mentioned is you can make it vegetarian. Yeah. So what if you just have like a carrot and some celery in your crisper? Mm -hmm. You could cook that with the onion instead of the sausage. But to make up for the flavor of the sausage, maybe add a little crushed red pepper or yeah. fennel, basil, oregano, maybe add some garlic in there, and maybe a can of like cannellini beans, yeah, so an beans. Italian white flavor bean. Which be even really beans nice. added to that would be great, Absolutely. Too. So whatever you've got, you've got a jar of pasta sauce, you've got soup. It so. smells so yeah. good in here. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, this is, whoa. whoa. It's, it's a full bowl Buddy, today. Yeah, it we serves got a, four plus. That was a near <laughs> crisis disaster. Let's give this a try. Mm. Oh, yes. That is very good. very good. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. I it is amazing how few things there are because I know. when you buy a marinara that's really flavored with garlic and things mm -hmm. like that, you don't miss out on throwing fresh garlic mm -hmm. in there. No. 
I mean, you certainly could if you had it finished yeah. it with some fresh basil or mm. parsley, but you really don't. The point is that you probably have most of if this If you were to use something. beef broth, how much would that, I mean, what would that change the dynamic as far as the flavor? I think you could definitely start with beef yep. and use a beef broth. You could just use a vegetable broth if you're using just the vegetables. I think the chicken, for me, is it can go either way. Sure. You can use it with any, any meat or any vegetable, and it kind of works. Thanks, Very Rachel. Good. Great Thank job. You, Rachel. Thank you. Now, for this recipe, go to TwinCitiesLive.com and click on food. And also on TwinCitiesLive.com, you're going to find more information on the walk to end hunger. It is happening on Thursday at Mall of America.